Just All right, we're back with some more Icewind Dale. Just say the I am on it. We are 50 videos deep. And it we're in a great library. It's Costantos. Shh, if you wish to remain, then stay quiet. You are in place of knowledge and learning. I am Costantos, caretaker of this library. I hope you don't take offense to this, but who in their right mind would come to this forsaken hellhole to check out a book? Well, I know that people all over the realms have varied taste when it comes to beauty and art. You obviously have the taste of one raised in the dark side of the centaur's ass. How can you make such a remark after viewing the glory and splendor of the Hand of Seldering? The elves in the lower levels seem pleased to live in this hellhole. Perhaps no one has told you, Costantos, the Hand lies in ruins and the people are shattered remnants of their former selves. I have several stacks of books that I need to attend to. Good day. Apologies, Costantos. Let's try a different uh, avenue here. I meant no insults. I only wish to learn of you in the hand of Seldrin. Then perhaps you should read some of my many books. Holy shit. He has all the books basically here. Uh, the Ancient Law of Corellion Latherian, Alertian, that is the Elvish god, uh, Savaresh, Sahian Mumbo. I well, we can learn all about this stuff. The Ecology of a Unicorn, let's check that out. Ready and willing. Okay, we'll trade that. Unicorns are herbivores, living on tender leaves and grasses. Their only enemies are griffins and those creatures that destroy forests, in particular red dragons and orcs. The lifespan of unicorns has never been recorded, but is known to surpass 1,000 years. They are believed to maintain their youth until death is only weeks away. The secret to this longevity is the strong magical nature of the horn. Unicorn horns are maliciously sought after, since possession of one is a sovereign remedy against all poisons. Yeah, I'll definitely cut one off for that. I'm here. Anyways. All right. You can come here on your own it time and read all done. those books. We don't have time for that shit. You want to read a book? Go read a book. Don't watch a fucking LP. I. Look what we have here. It's, it's Gellerith. Or Gellerith. Blasted machine. I'll never get this fixed. I have all the machinery pieces here, so let's go ahead and start giving it to them. All right, 24,000 for that piece. 35,000 for that piece. And there's the last piece. Well, send me to the abyss. You might be right. If you find any more pieces, let me know. Otherwise, check back. All right, go ahead and put it together. There you go. Looking good. How in the fuck did we not get a level after all that experience? Gotta be getting close. That's because, well, we need 300,000. He's getting close. She's really close. And they're fairly close as well. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? You have my eternal gratitude for helping me fix her. May Corellian guide you. Then now we can talk to you. Uh, uh, greetings, adventurers. Pardon me while I gather my thoughts. Who are you, and what has just come to pass? We are adventurers who have come to the Severed Hand to seek your knowledge and power. In doing so, we learned of the curse bestowed here, and your sanity lost centuries ago. We have restored you to some of your former self and beseech you for aid. Indeed you have, noble adventurers. It must have taken great courage and strength to make it as far as you did, let alone restore some balance to my thoughts. I am eternally in your debt. But surely you did not come to the hand of the Seldarine on a whim. Tell me what it is you seek. I seek the knowledge that can only be divined through the Heartstone. Very well. As legend states, the Heartstone gem is an ancient artifact from a time long forgotten. Its most notable owners were the Druids of Kaldahar before
before one within their circle stole the gem. It was thought forever lost, until now. The Heartstone gem contains powerful scrying abilities that can divine the affairs of people throughout the realms. There are only a few within the land who know how to release its powers. I am one of them. With that said, what is it you seek to learn from the Heartstone gem? We seek to learn source of evil that troubles the North. Then you will have what you seek. Hand me the Heartstone gem. Here you are. Freed from the shackles of his tormented mind, the cursed Elven Lord was at last able to assist the heroes in their quest. Handing over the Heartstone Gem, the party stood back and watched Laro begin his divination. With the artifact raised before him, clutched tightly in his skeletal hands, the undead sorcerer peered intently into the gem as he whispered a series of strange chants and incantations. A spark of light briefly flashed within the gem, as if a ray of sunlight had caught upon its surface. And suddenly, reflected within the mirrored facets of the stone, there appeared an image of a statue. The statue was clearly a monument of sorts, depicting an elf and a dwarf sitting side by side on a dual throne. Even if Labellus's curse had taken my eyesight, I would still recognize that hole. What you have seen is Dorne's Deep, den of the betrayers. In here is where the wretched dwarves hollowed out their home. Be warned if your journey takes you there. If any of the dwarves remain, expect no quarter, for they will give none. Believe none of their lies, as they will all lead to treachery. If you do decide to venture forth to that dwarven vestige of evil, then I will mark its location on your map. Also, I have the power to take you there if you wish. One other thing before we depart. We came upon this diary of belonging to your daughter. My beloved daughter, I see you are thorough in your search of the hand. The last entries describe her resolve to find a way to reforge the union with those accursed dwarves. I never saw her again. You never saw her again? What became of her? Fools! Can you not discern it with your own mind? Those dwarves committed the worst atrocity knowing its impact on me. They murdered my daughter. For that I will never forgive them. For the punishment I suffered for my arrogance and pride, Labellus be damned if he thinks I will forgive them for what they did. I would stay in this cursed form, never to see Arvindor, if it meant I could make the dwarves pay for their crime. Leave now! I will not speak of this anymore! Whoa, whoa, what about that teleport? You have returned. Send us to Koldahar. We need to resupply and do good stuff. Teleport time! Teleport, teleport, teleport time. I stand ready. All right, back in Kodahar to resupply. And one of my watchers, Wolfboy822, reminded me that after we killed the Ice Priestess 20,000 videos ago, she was a tavern at one of the, or she was a waitress or server at one of the, the tavern here. So we're going to go to that tavern and collect her belongings, if you will. This is it. You can count on me. Ah, here we go. Whitcomb, I have a disturbing encounter with one of your barmaids, Lyson, in the Vale of Shadows. I was wondering where that fool of a bitch had gone off to. I was worried she'd been taken by raiders, but in the Vale, you say. She has gone to visit the family in Upper Kuldahar, like she does every other month or so. I suspect that story she told you, you wouldn't know. She was going on religious retreats. She was a priestess of Auril, and she would head up to the Vale to do the will of her goddess. She won't be coming back. Well, are you serious? Lysen may be as cold as a witch's breast, but a priestess of the Frost Maiden? Come now, don't jest with wit. Look, I did what had to be done. But she had winter in her, heart, and meant Kuldahar harm. 
so I was forced to fight her. I don't wish to discuss this anymore. Listen to me, you jabbering skeleton. She was an already like... Uh, I see. Well, to tell the truth, I suspected Lyson was something more than she let on. But still, an already priestess? Ah, well, I'll see that her belongings are thrown out and burned without... Wait, her belongings? Do you mind if I keep them? Well, all right, here. Make haste and hand them over. Uh, we really want that cloak. All the rest of this shit is garbage. Actually, that's some pretty serious scrolls there. Oh, look, we got some levels finally. How nice. Um, Alright. So thank you, Wolfboy82, for bringing me uh, to the attention of coming here. I appreciate that. And if any of you guys give me any other insight and I use it in a video, I will try to remember to use it. And if I don't, I saw you can count on me. You well, have my very well. Just call me a dickhead. Just say the word. I await your instruction. I am ready as always. Let's go ahead and level up our dwarf and cleric. More skills, more skills. We will put it all in the stealth. Oh, we can do... Oh, okay, never mind. I forgot we can do super... Super traps and super locks. I'm not big on stealth. 110% fine traps. I don't know, I guess... I guess that's giving it more than 100%. Shit, don't ask me. And some more priesty spells. I'll take that for now. I'll uh, take another one of these for now. Slow poison. Whole person. Yeah, I'll take a whole person. Ooh, here we go. Now we're talking. We have cure, crit critical wounds, flame strike. Some offense. Raise dead. Person has well, one hit point. Raise dead. Uh, note that this spell is inscribed upon a scroll. Is the power to miss the scroll. All right. Doesn't sound like they lose anything though. Champion strength. So we can raise dead now, just in case. Righteous wrath of the faithful. This spell bestows a form of divine madness. Upon the priest allies, improving their combat skills. All the priest allies in the area effect gain plus one to attack rolls and saving throws, plus one to eight bonus hit points. All creatures of the same alignment, however, gain an extra attack every round and plus two to their attacks, damage roll, and saving throws. Anyone affected by righteous. Shield of the Thunder. The spell grants target immunity to damage for the duration of the spell. Evil creatures cannot be protected by a Shield of the Thunder, only non evil. Wow, these are some pretty badass spells. Undead Ward. Greater Command. They are allowed to saving through. I don't know. Let's go with... Let's try Shield of Lathander. Jeez, I don't know. Twenty to twenty-three for a turn for champion strength. And we have flame strike. And we have magic resistance. Oh, that's a pretty good buff spell. We'll go with the uh, righteous wrath of the faithful. Let's check that out a couple times, see if that's useful. Though. Ready and willing. Oh, the cloak. Let's identify the cloak. Uh, why aren't you guys identifying anything? I'm here. Hi.
All right, folks, so I'm going to sell our shit and uh, get ready to head out to Dorn's Deep. I'll be back then as not to bore you with what is about to follow. All right, so we're nice and uh, unencumbered, let's say. Cleaned up pretty good here. We got uh, went ahead and got rid of a lot of the non-magical arrows just because not using a whole lot of missile weapons with my three main fighters. So when I do, we have plenty of plus one arrows to go through. Plus, uh, Ronstock and Brandish are the only two really using arrows for bows. Uh, of course, Fidget is using his crossbow and his bolts. He's got uh, plenty of bolts there to last him. And uh, we got some sling bullets here. I'll go buy some more bullets and darts. Just to be safe. Let's go do that real quick. Get a, a few more uh, things of bullets and darts. It they go shall quick. Be done. Wish you could stack them more, but you can't. We'll give her uh, two more. And we're going to give her some more bullets. She can't carry any, but... We'll go with that for now. At your command. And it's time to travel to Dorn's Deep. Some really cool places to explore in Dorn's Deep. The Dwarven Halls are known for their architecture. So let's go venture deep, deep underground as opposed to up, up high in the towers that we were just in. Let's see what's going on here. Something to miss with the way Laro spoke of the dwarves. Some other treachery going on here. Uh, d d uh, uh. There it is. The Heartstone's divination had at last revealed the source of the evil in the mountains. Ahead loomed the solitary peak that housed the dwarven stronghold known as Dorn's Deep. With Laryl's warnings of dwarven treachery still ringing in their ears, the heroes readied their weapons and started toward the cave entrance and whatever challenges lay beyond. Challenges? There's no challenge here for Ron Stock and crew. Challenge. Please. Three days and eight hours later. You can count on me. We're going to do just a nice little save here because I haven't done one since too long ago. Okay. I also want to try something real quick. I'm going to equip everyone with their bow. Let's go ahead and put plus one arrows on him. What are, these? what are these bad boys? These are the plus twos. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I know. Going all out darts here. Identify. No, we got to get our identify spell back for crying out loud. Still don't know what that cloak is, and we're not going to until we rust. Anyways, full missile weapons. My soul. I. You heart! Greetings. You trespass on Uram territory. Uh, I didn't mean to trespass. No matter. You die now. We'll see about that. 
Oh, 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 he's just going to get lit up. And that's how we're going to play with the oil rods. Going to use some of these missile weapons. So as you can see, missile weapons can be quite effective. Just say the Brandish word. took a little bit of damage there, but nothing, nothing too harsh. And really, he was the only one. But fuck Ready it, we'll stick with it. I'm here. I am on it. We have a passage here. I, you can count on me. I will kite ready. them all backwards. I am or not. You have need of me. Perhaps not then. At your command, you can count on me. We do a little hit and run here. Tag, you're it. That'll get him coming. My sword is yours. Can count on me. Make peace with your God. Just say the word. Just getting fucking dropped. I. All right, and since Ready we're gonna go back willing. into closed corridors, I suggest we switch back to our fighters. Just let me keep it the fuck up there and not let me switch to it. That'd be a lot easier on everybody. I know you guys agree. That's my little Storm Giant Strength Potion. I'm going to keep that all the way till the end of the game, probably. Because uh, having storm giant strength is no small thing. I'm here. A bunch of weapons here, probably not worth picking Duty up. Calls. I'm just gonna leave them. All right, I shall see to it. And here we are in the upper caverns of Dorne's Deep. Mushrooms. I stand. I. Oh, a blue myconoid. I am by your side. It's good to cast prayer and bless when fighting myconids because they have a lot of spores that will cause you to save versus paralysis and uh, poison things like that. So you definitely want to get your prayer spell At out. At your command. Bacio, Bacio. Stand and deliver! <laughs>
Let's get it on, get it on, get it on, get it on, get it on motherfucker, get it on. Just crushing your little mushroom cap ass. Just sick, it shall you be to done. sneak around, bitch? I don't think so. Ready, you can count on me. Killing them. I get quick and nimble. Big open cavern here. Up oh, here comes a spore. Save, save us. Gotta save us, dead holes. I spit you, Joe. He's confused, and he's dead. And now he's hacked up the little here. mushroom bits. I'm actually gonna put his blue ass in my salad and eat him. Whoa, that's a netting. Those can be dangerous. Alright. Well, I want to get the crew down here. I stand Interested back. to see if we can take him out with just uh, missile weapons. Require magical items to hit him, so. At your command. My sword is yours. Yeah. Bow, I'm here. bow, yes. crossbow, sling. I await instruction. At your service. Just Darts say the bolts. word. Alright, let's see if we can get him to come Ready, down. Ready, Let's shoot him once. That'll piss him off. That's 10 damage just from one bow arrow. I'm right, here. Now we're gonna light him up. Oh, oh! I'll get him! Oh! 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 Shit! It's a storm of a storm of swords, but it's arrows instead of swords. Yes, three thousand experience from just straight up missile mm -hmm. damage. All right. That's how you take I down an Ed. Let's see if we can draw another one of those big bastards over here. I'm just kind of clearing the fog here. As you can see, we got quite a big map here to do. Oh, he caused me to go berserk. That's that's not gonna be good for you. Better get off my round stock. Tell you what, those mages, they all throw darts like none other. Pretty insane. I stand ready. At your command. Definitely gotta be careful of that. My sword is yours. Berserk though. It'll mess you I up big here. time. path we can take up here. Basically there's a lot of tandem tangent caves that uh, link off of this main hub cave. It's a pretty big area. There's another item. Let's light him up. I stretch a Joe. Just like that. Pissed off some blue Mykonids. Yes. You need to switch the darts, you fucking artard. I see. 
How can I help? Well, you can heal our poor Pally that keeps getting his ass rocked. Alright folks, we're gonna go into this cave, but you're gonna have to wait until next video to see what lies beyond her. <laughs>